Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my video. My name is Jordan. I'm using a different software to record OBS because OBS has problems recording itself, so it's going to be a little choppy and I'm sorry about that. But uh, hi, so I'm assuming that you've bought one of my overlays or you're trying to set up OBS yourself, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now I'm using classic open broadcaster software. Uh, there's a studio version which is a little newer and a little more sleek looking but they're about the same so you should be able to follow along pretty easily so to add a scene or a source you just right click add and then we're gonna add an image so we're gonna call this first one the main overlay you're gonna browse your computer for it and you're gonna find the image that you want and you're going to want to make sure that wherever you select these images from, these images aren't going to move from that file. Because if you move them somewhere else on your computer, they're just going to turn into a big red block in your preview. So there we go, we've just added the overlay. So okay, let's say that we want to get a background now. So we're going to do the same thing, background, wallpaper, whatever you want to name it. Find the image that you want. And you can see that this image is really big for one, and it's also in front of the overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Edit Scene, and then we're going to click on the wallpaper down here to highlight it, and hold Control and Down Arrow. Up Arrow, Down Arrow, it moves it, it layers the um, images. So now that it's in the right spot, we're going to grab the corner. You can see here it's got a red outline size it to the, what you want, whatever works for you. So I'm going to put mine right up in the corner and just pull it to size. And there you go. So let's say, okay, I want to have a be right back screen. So we're going to add a completely different scene now. So add scene, we're going to call this be right back AFK. And it's the same idea. So we're going to add the be right back screen and select the image. So this is the one I want. Confirm it. And there you go. So now you got a be right back screen that you can toggle on or off. Um, so you can see here that there's the main overlay and the wallpaper that we've layered. What you're going to want to do is when you add your game, you're going to right click, add game capture or window capture. Some games are iffy, so some you'll need to use window capture, some you'll need to use game capture. You just kind of have to try that out for yourself. But when you do add your game, you're going to want to sandwich them between these two layers. So let's see, let's add one more layer so I can show you. Let's add a GIF. So okay, let's assume that this is the game that you want to be playing. This little dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that right in between your main overlay and your background. So you can put your game right in between the two and it'll look just fine. Switch over to your beer pack screen, you got to go to the washroom, whatever. Let's say you also want to add a lobby because that's something that I usually um, I usually have in my packages. So let's call that a lobby screen and we're going to add a screen where you can have a little chat room. So there you go. So you could use a program like Twitch Alerts or something like that. Uh, there's tons of uh, third-party programs out there that'll keep track of things like your Twitch chat and your recent donators and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so here you would have maybe your webcam over on the right side followed by your lobby. So let's see, I'll add a webcam box. And there you go. You move it where you want it. And this is going to be incredibly choppy, I know, but I will add my webcam here for a second. So you're going to go video capture device. You can rename it webcam if you want. Oh, whoops. I already have that name, my bad. So we're going to add that and we're going to call it webcam, actual webcam. <laughs> and 
and these are your settings you can choose uh, if you want to do a green screen or not there's my face wow that is very big drag it over here and bring it to size and you can see here that I need to layer this properly so I'm going to move my webcam box over top of the webcam and there you go if you have a green screen like me you can go properties uh, no wrong one properties add chroma key and it's going to get a little weird but you select that and this is going to select your color area that you want so let's say I want that and we'll mess around with these three numbers a bit and you kind of just mess around until you get what looks good to you if you have a dedicated light setup you're not going to have to mess with this at all but you can see that mine is not set up so it's a little green in the background but yeah that's the gist of it so hopefully uh, you guys got something out of this <laughs> and if you have any questions feel free to send me a message either on Etsy, Fiverr or through email. Uh, thanks for watching.